Hello and welcome to the Math for Fun and in this video I'm going to show you how do you solve linear equations in one variable special cases. We have two special cases when you solve linear equations. We have case where we have no solution and the other case when we have infinite number of solutions. Let's start with the first one. Here we have minus 4x plus 3 equals to x plus 3 minus 5x. What do we do here? First of all we can simplify before we start solving. So here we have on the right side x minus 5x. So we simplify it. What do we get? We can write everything as it is and we can simplify x minus 5x to get minus 4x. And look at the equation now. Here we have minus 4x plus 3 equals to minus 4x plus 3. So now look, if you want to solve this straightforward, you can do that. Once you find the left side of the equation is exactly identical with the right side, you can say infinite number of solutions straightforward but if you want to solve it look what you can do now we want to move variables to one side and numbers to the other side how to do that we have minus 4x and minus 4x on each side and we have plus 3 and plus 3 on the other side we can add minus 3 and minus 3 on each side to remove the 3 also we can add plus 4x plus 4x on each side to remove the negative 4 here we are planning to move x to one side and the number to the other side. But look what would happen. Plus 3 and minus 3 would give you 0. Also minus 4x and plus 4x will give you 0. So you're left by 0x on the left side equals to 0. Or 0 equals to 0x on the other side. I'm writing it in this form just to show you why do we get infinite number of solutions. If we consider that we have 0x equal to 0. So what would happen? what number you can replace x and you multiply it by 0 to get 0 let's try if we put 1 1 times 0 is 0 it's correct if we put 2 2 times 0 is 0 which is correct if you put 3 3 times 0 which is 0 is correct if you put negative numbers minus 1 times 0 is 0 same if you put minus 100 minus 1000 whatever you put and you multiply it by 0 you're gonna get 0 so here we can say many solutions or you can say it's infinite number of solutions or you can say x belongs to r why because there are different books and each book would represent it with its own way so either one you write is a correct solution let's see the other case here we have minus 4x plus 3 equals to x plus 2 minus 5x what do we do first as we mentioned we simplify the right side because we have x and minus 5x so we write everything the same except those so x minus 5x will give us minus 4x now and now we have minus 4x and minus 4x on each side and we have 3 and 2 on different sides what to do then we can add negative 3 and negative 3 on each side to remove that 3 here and we can add also plus 4x plus 4x on each side to remove the negative 4x so look plus 3 minus 3 will give us 0 minus 4x plus 4x on both sides will give us 0x so you left by 0x equals to 2 minus 3 which is minus 1 and now let's try numbers replace x with any number and multiply it by 0 you will be getting 0 not minus 1 so in this case 0 times 1 is 0 0 times 5 is 0 it's not minus 1 so what do we say in this case we say no solution there's no solution for this equation and you can make your decision straightforward once you have the variable x multiplied with the same number on the left side of the equation and the right side of the equation but the constants are different if the constants are different you say no solution if the variable and the constant everything on the left side equal to everything on the right side you can say infinite number of solutions and i hope you learned something from this video and here i can say that we reach the end of the video if you like the video, don't forget to like and share and welcome to Math for Fun and bye for now.